Hi everyone, Sean Epperson from Thing12 Games here, and uh, we're excited to show you the new Seals of Cthulhu manufacturing prototype. Uh, we just got this in, we've been reviewing it over the weekend, we have some more reviews that we're going to be doing, uh, so let's dive in. So you'll notice that this cover here is white. Uh, this was just sent to us by the manufacturer to show what the color and placement is going to look like, but it, the end one is going to be clear so you can see the box behind it. So uh, let's unsheath this bad boy and see the book behind it. So as you see with this book, uh, Darren did a fantastic job of making this look really old and worn. I'll take a look at the sides here. Did a fantastic job with that. Backside looks really cool. Uh, even the sides of the box, you can see like old worn pages that have been torn and ruffled and wrinkled through time. And, as we had talked about before, this does have a magnetic side. So, uh, if for some reason they were to pop free, this guy here is going to help keep this closed so nothing's going to come out, because that's obnoxious. So let's dive into the book in... First thing you're going to see is this here. Uh, before you do anything else, read this. Uh, what this entails, we'll leave to you to uh, find out. This is the back of the book. So in the stores and your copies at home, the cellophane is going to be around, is, go is going to be covering this. So when you take it off, this is going to come loose and come free. Um, let's get back into the book here. Inside, we've got this bag with a cool logo on it. They did a fantastic job in the printing of this logo. Looks really cool. Uh, let's get into that. Side here we've got lots of cards. Let's dive into the cards. Uh, I've got a kind of a piece here. Just get you into the world a little bit more. Uh, we'll leave this for you to discover. Uh, kind of a promo piece about us, of course. There is the victory for the cultist and the investigator. And the game cards. So they did a good job on these. These look really nice. Color pops really well. Uh, the investigators, of course, really cool stuff here, and the cultists. These look really good. And let's move the book out of the way here. So here are the these this way. So we see the uh, the investigator cards, and we see the cultist versions of those cards. So as we talked about, having them together will allow you to complete the image. And you see that it's been torn. Uh, these look really nice. Uh, the colors look really good, really readable. Um, yeah, these just look, look so good. I'm so happy with how these turned out. So let's show some of the uh, the creatures, of course. Our, uh, our main man, Mr. He who shall not be named Cthulhu, the destroyer of worlds. Looking really good. So lots of cool creatures in here, all the uh, the cool cards. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the bits that are going to be coming with it. So we have the the investigators here. There's one of the investigator meeples. It's got his cool little insignia on there. And then one of the cultist meeples. You'll notice that the logos that are on there are really subtle. We didn't want them to be um, too sharp and too, too kind of in your face. We want them to be really subtle things. So when you look at them, you'll be able to see like this on there. And they stand up really well. So you just stand them up. Uh, that's kind of important because I know people like sending their guys up, their meeples up, and they stand up very well. They don't fall over very easy. Uh, the one thing that we are going to be taking a look at is the active player token. Um, you can tell that it's really hard to read, uh, so that's something that we're going to have to uh, address and figure out a way to really make that look better, because uh, that's just not acceptable, not up to our standards. But you see that we got the four, and the four guys here. Uh, let's see what else we can get into here. There's uh, a cool newspaper clipping. I'm going to leave that for you to, uh, to see, but uh, here's kind of a teaser for it. And we have the rule book. Uh, this part here is going to be changed, so let's take a look at the card backs here. 
And we got Carbax there. And we have Carbax here. So with the green, we get the purple gem. With the purple, we get the red. And with the gold here, we get these purple gems. So this is going to be changed a little bit uh, for this gem to be more of a purple color. And this is going to be looking a little bit more like the cover here. So there's some adjustments we need to do to that as well. Um, but the book overall, uh, they did a good job. Um, the printing's really good. The photos come across really clear. Uh, the text is really good. There's lots of examples in here and how to play. Uh, things are really clear. Uh, more information about the creatures and their the monsters and their abilities, the older gods, uh, how the victory point things work. Yeah, really good stuff here. So we're happy with how this turned out. So, there we go. Uh, overall, we're really happy with how this turned out. There's a few things that we're going to be addressing. Uh, like I said, the active player token. Um, a couple other things. Uh, we just want to have this be as a good quality as we can uh, because we have a lot of respect for you, our backers, and appreciate your support in this. We know it's been a while getting here. It's been super frustrating in how long this has taken, but uh, we would rather have it done right uh, than have just shove something out super fast. So, uh, progress, that's awesome, um, and we will send out more updates once we get stuff back from our manufacturer. Um, we're probably not going to be getting another prototype. Um, they'll probably just send us some pictures to show us the changes that they've done uh, in order to kind of keep the process going a little quicker. Um, once we do that and we're good, then we'll hit the go button and we'll let everybody know uh, when that occurs. And then it's just a matter of having them boxed up uh, and sent out to all the different distribution plants. The manufacturer typically will give us a um, some snapshots, some video of it uh, in progress as they're doing the whole printing thing. So uh, we will definitely share those as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate uh, you getting to see this awesome game, and, and we're so excited for how this came together. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being the awesome backers that you are.